Hi, I'm Johannes. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about check valves, non-return valves, and I'm going to show you how they work and where you can use it for. So now I would like you to s take a look at a check valve. In here, in my hands, I have a check valve, which is actually you know, a very simple one. It's a ball check valve. This is a cutaway and right now it is empty, but normally you have also a ball in it. So we see here the ball in the check valve and we also see that there is an arrow on the check valve. The arrow is very important because that is the flow direction of the check valve itself. So we see that the flow is going from left to right and that the ball is laying on the bottom. Now, if we have this uh, ball check valve, it's always in a vertical position. So you have to have the arrow up. When the arrow is up, that means that in a normal situation, the ball is on the bottom and it closes off the valve. So only with the force of the liquid, the ball comes up and it opens. And when you stop the flow, the ball comes back down and the flow cannot go back. And that is the non-return. It's heavy. Whoa. Whew. Whew. That was heavy. So let's take a look at an application yeah, where we use a check valve for. On this photograph that we see now, we see that there's a very nice big centrifugal pump and right above that we have this green uh, piece of equipment and that is actually a non-return valve, a check valve. And we also see that it has an arrow and the arrow is up and it's in the right direction. So you can always check whether or not it is installed right or wrong because the arrow needs to go into the flow direction of um, the fluid. Now, why is it important to have a check valve? Yeah, it is important because after we pump, and we stop the pump, we don't want the fluid to go back to where we got it from. Now, a centrifugal pump doesn't really have uh, any uh, means of closing the pipe uh, by itself. So you need to have a valve. Now you could put an operator there with a hand valve and open and close each time when you start the pump, but that is a little bit, you know, crazy. So therefore we have an piece of equipment that will do the job and that is called the non-return valve. So this is one application that uh, you can use it for. Another application, another application is inside a pump. Yeah, here I have a cutaway of a diaphragm pump and in here we can very nicely see that there are also check valves. Two ball valves on one side and two ball valves on the other side. So there are also inside pieces of equipment such as this AODD pump and we also know that that is important for the pump to function. Now we have seen the uh, uh, check valve, what it looks like and how it works. If you have any questions remaining please ask us and uh, if uh, you push that like button it would really be good. And um, we will see you soon again.